for years, as the city grew, more and more people took the subway and bus. Now, as the city grows, more and more people are taking Uber, Lyft, and Via. This is not a sustainable way for the city to grow, and that's what we need to do something about. In New York in 2017, we're facing our worst transportation crisis in decades. Subway breakdowns are a common occurrence. Subway reliability is way down. And we're shedding bus riders at an alarming and accelerating pace. Traffic is slowing down. Some of that is so many people trying to use the streets. But the other big factor that we have is that if you look at Uber and Lyft and Via, they're adding 20 to 25,000 more vehicles to city streets every year. That means we've added over 600 million miles of motor vehicle traffic in New York City over the last three years. Traffic congestion is a huge obstacle, and as we've seen, the increase in vehicular traffic coupled with construction and all the other things that tie up our streets, it's become a real economic issue, a real competitiveness issue for the city. At the same time, on the other hand, our mass transit system's unreliability is equally a problem, and this, the capacity of mass transit to absorb further growth in population in our economy. The data is really clear. We've seen a big growth in four hire vehicles like Uber and Lyft. That's a lot more traffic on the streets and we haven't thought about what that means for our traffic and congestion problems or what that means for our transit problems where we've continued to underinvest in our transit system and so uh, people don't feel as likely to be able to use it to get where they're going. So we gotta bring these things together. We represent um, labor unions, community groups, and environmental justice organizations, which all represent some of the lowest income workers and residents of the city, people of color, and immigrants. And we're seeing that these people, because of the crumbling infrastructure that we're seeing in, in public transit, which has been underfunded for years now, decades even, um, that they're already disproportionately longer commutes compared to the average commuter is becoming even longer because of delays. So this is a big problem. Unlike the transit crises of the 1970s and 80s, we're not a city that's in decline. We're not a city that's scraping for growth. We're a city that's at a record high population. And the Independent Budget Office came out with an analysis earlier this year that put a number on how the infrastructure and the transit delays have already affected the economy to the tune of over $300 million a year. So already we're seeing the effects of an inequitable, underfunded transit system and also what traffic congestion can do as well. It is not a sustainable growth model for New York City to grow with people in cars. We know it. The reason it makes sense for New York City to grow is because we have a transit system. So the combination of problems, traffic congestion, and real issues with the adequacy of our mass transit system are top priorities for the business community today. So the city needs to take decisive steps in three areas, and there's three really good opportunities of things the city can do. The first is in terms of street design, to set aside space for vehicles that are making high efficiency use of the street, buses and vans, and actually delivery companies that are minimizing the amount of use of the streets, minimizing double parking and that kind of thing. So street design is one. The second one is road pricing or congestion pricing, and it's great to see the governor saying he wants to move in that direction. And the third, largely overlooked, is fleet management. There's a program to help delivery companies move their deliveries to off hours, and that's being expanded, and it's a very good program. And so we got to bring these things together. We need some new creative policy thinking that says what needs to be true for Uber and Lyft and other four hire vehicles. Do we need some kind of surcharge or fee that goes into subways and buses? Uh, does it need to be part of a broader congestion pricing system so that we're achieving the very sensible goal of looking at our traffic and our transit problems together and both helping reduce congestion and strengthening mass transit for the millions of people that use it. The problem is screaming for a real sustained policy response from Governor Cuomo, who controls transit in New York City, and Mayor de Blasio, who manages and designs city streets. Wait, Carl, Clark. Here, the N and the Q train.